Okay, so this is the old inducer motor. There is the part number, HC21ZE121A. The fan wheel. You can hear the bearings are drying out. Okay, so just sprayed the fan wheel here. And this is with penetrating oil, super penetrating oil. And we're gonna let this sit uh, while we do the other work, and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so the motor sat for 40 minutes. So we take my impact here on the highest setting, number three, with the one eighth inch bit. Slip it in through here. Go to here. Go full blast. Sometimes tightening it and then loosening it again it gives it that a little bit it needs to remove and then you just pull it right off. And then the rest can be disassembled. Now you move the fan clip, fan wheel. If you're careful with your prying, you can get this piece off without damaging the plastic fan. There you go. And if you hammer on this, hammer it flat against the concrete here, you can actually get it to get, you can actually reuse it. So I'll just pull this straight out. Okay, just like that. And then you can also wash this in the sink with some soap and an old toothbrush, get all this dust off here, it'll look like brand new. Okay, and then our next step is to unscrew these three screws here. three screws right here in the middle. And the motor leads are pointing out this direction. As you can see, the motor. Get a rag and just wipe all this penetrating fluid off that we threw. Any dust in here? You can see these grommets are also shot, so it'd be a good idea to replace those. And this flat part is facing down. This is 
our new motor, HC21ZE121. Took it off. Since I am tightening with the impact, I will manually just check the tightness here with a screwdriver. Sometimes it's hard to tell with an impact how tight you got. These are perfect. Wasn't able to get any more snug than that. Okay. And then we're going to we get our new grommets. Reinstall these or replace these with new ones. Okay, here are the new grommets. This is a 10 pack. Here are the new ones. Compares with the old ones. Okay. Just flip that on. Just like that. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to take this guy and we're going to wipe this. Just get some of this dust off, that way it looks nice. I didn't want to cross thread that one, so I backed it out and kind of has to flow, flow freely. ground screw is going to go underneath this mounting screw right here. Okay. So now we're going to reinstall the fan wheel. The old fan wheel. Because I was not provided with a new fan wheel or the entire assembly. I was just provided with the motor and this fan wheel right here with the new piece right there. Okay, looks good. We'll find our set screw. Blocking the shaft area right there. 
And this tool is made by Capri. It's the 3D612, 18. Was that out of range there? It's really nice. It's not really ready for impact, but I've used it for impact multiple times without any issues. So we're gonna go right there. That's about the height that it was on the old one. We're gonna tighten that down. Yeah, looks, looks okay. And then we're gonna mount the new hand wheel. Even though we can reuse the old one, this is the LA660 03 Inducer Fan and Flip. Spin it, it's not rubbing anything, that's good. And we're gonna push this clip, it's beveled slightly, you can see that. So, this part goes down like that. Just push on with the fingers, it doesn't need any tools, it's brand new. Let's see, just like that. So, we've just rebuilt the inducer motor assembly so we replace the motor and replace the fan wheel in the back which isn't really necessary just replacing the motor is removing this set screw is the hardest but if you have the some penetrating oil some time and an eighth inch impact i think this is at least three inches here god's got to be to clear that uh it'll be good yeah so let's put this in the in the furnace okay so this is where the motor mounts and the actual actually the old fiberglass gasket around here stayed in place and it's it's mostly intact so I'm gonna leave it I didn't I wasn't provided one but if it did fall out or if it was really bad I put some heat resistant RTV silicone as a gasket maker around the lip there and then that would work just as good as this so okay so this Mounts upward. Okay, gotta make sure the wheel goes into the okay, there you go. I'm gonna line up this hole. Hit the hole with the hole in the back there. Okay, so the only thing left to do after you've tightened these three screws right here is to plug the motor in. Plug the motor in. And then if you remove this guy to get access to the motor, you just re-tighten that. Drop this screw right here. It's a very quiet motor. Yes, no, yes, I am. Okay, this is the furnace operating. That motor is actually very quiet. I don't know how it sounds in the video. I can't, I can barely hear it. Before it was grinding and making horrible noises, now it's perfectly quiet. Oh, 
have a nose of BTU rating, so 58 STX furnace. Probably applicable to other furnace models too, but that's it.